right. know what? We've made everybody wait long enough. What? Here are some s benchmarks. Yay, benchmarks. First, a word from our sponsor, Crypto.com, home of the Visa card that pays you up to 8% in rewards and the app that pays you up to 14.5% annually on your crypto stake. Join more than 10 million users on the world's fastest growing crypto app as you trade with confidence on the world's fastest and most secure crypto exchange. More information and a special sign-up offer at the end of this video. So this is Assassin's Creed Valhalla. The uh, blue bars are at 1080p and the orange bars are at 1440p. Why you would even test 1440p on this card is beyond me, but you know, hey, you do you. So 57 frames per second average at ultra settings on the 3050. That's better than I thought it was going to do, really. Of course, 1440p is completely useless, but 57. Now, of course, they don't report the 1% lows. No. And you're not seeing any footage of how smooth this is or um, is it chop? You know, are there any issues with it? But, eh, you know, okay, it'll run it. Of course, you don't need to run it ultra. You can run at high detail and get better performance. Mm -hmm. Black Desert Online, you know, I've never played that game, so I don't really have any experience with it. I do think it's interesting that they tested it with FSR. So 1080p on the blue line is 78 frames per second, but with FSR, it's 123. Now, what I don't know is, is the FSR really, is that DLSS? Is that, are they using that across all the cards? They're not being very clear. Control, yeah, Control's not going to run on this. Control, Control is a demanding game. That's just awful. What's interesting, you notice this high preset? Mm-hmm. Final Fantasy, Godfall, Horizon Zero Dawn does 68. Ultimate quality. That's not bad. To be honest, Horizon Zero Dawn on the PC, what I like to say in my reviews is Horizon Zero Dawn, the absolutely wonderful optimized PC port of a PlayStation 4 game. And I always say it with a big slash S for sarcasm on there because it is an awful PC port. It is so demanding. Way more than it has any right to be. That's not fun. Do you know what kind of hardware is in the PlayStation 4? Yes. This much hardware. You give it a PC with this much hardware and it really doesn't run that great. The fact that it does 68 frames per second average at 1080p. At so it would do better if you switched it from ultimate down to high. Yes. There you go. Now here's what's interesting. These results do impress me. At 1080p, these are functional in demanding games. They're not amazing. It's not gonna last you for three years at 1080p, but if you need something that runs today. Well, they don't have the 2060 on there. <clears throat> They've got the 3060 Ti. Here we go, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, ultra quality, 80. Oh, well, it's a three-year-old game. Four-year-old, four years this year. Shadow of the Tomb Raider came out in 2018. It's three and a half years old, and it plays at 80 frames per second at 1080p. <clears throat> I hope so. Shadow of the Tomb Raider can actually be quite demanding. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's a lot better than the 6600, and it's, uh, I mean, uh, 6500. And... If you can get one. If you can get one. Now, the last game they have on the list here is interesting. Watch Dogs Legion. This is ridiculously demanding and difficult to run. 46 frames per second average on at 1080p. At ultra quality. It doesn't get much better at high. I, I, it doesn't. It doesn't. No. And Cyberpunk would run like crap on this card. I'm surprised they didn't put... Well, there's no built-in benchmark, so that's no, probably why not. they didn't. Yeah, well, but you have to run that one long. Watch Dogs Legion has a built-in benchmark, but not nah, Cyberpunk, even a 1080p, would be awful in this, on this card, relatively speaking. But, all things considered, that's pretty good. So, 
$250. That's a deal, right? It's like coming out at $250. Do you reckon it'll be $500? No, nah, it won't be that much. Four? $350. $350? $350? $350? $350? Maybe four hundred? Three fifty to four hundred is probably what it will really be at. Why do I say that? Well I don't reckon you're gonna be able to buy them. Not if it's got eight gigs of ERAM on it. They go on sale tomorrow morning at six AM Pacific Standard Time on Newegg. So the I thought they were launching on the twenty seventh. Run it at forty <laughs> Thought you were going to sleep. Sprung. I thought they launched tomorrow. Boy, I'm just not having a good month. I saw the 27th, and that's not tomorrow. That's in two days. So, But I don't know if that was the new article or the old article. I'm just not having a good month. Oh. Oh, I'm having one of those days. I need something stronger in my uh, diva mug. I got you, you diva mug. Oh, thank you for that. You're welcome. Now, there is something I do want to share. Oh, yes, this. NVIDIA has had this product naming scheme for a long time. 650, 750. 950, there was no 800 series, I don't know why. 1050, there was really no 2050 because there was no ray tracing, so there was a 1650, which was a weird whatever. And now we have a 3050. I would like you all to take a guess, without Google searching, what was the launch MSRP of the GTX 1050 in 2016. How many of you know that off the top of your head? I had a rough idea. I covered it on this channel, but to be honest, I did have to look it up because it's been a hot minute. So it came out October 25th of 2016. That is 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020. 2021, the end of January. So five years and three months later, we went from a 1050 to a 3050. How many people, Obi-Wan Kenobi in chat says, was it 179? City Hunter goes 159? Gerald Clapp says 199. Juan Emulation says 150. Several people are saying 149. 204 gig card. Here we go. The GTX 1050 launched with 640 CUDA cores and 2 gigabytes of GDDR5 VRAM and a 75 watt TDP for 109. And the 1050 Ti launched with 768 CUDA cores. 4 gigabytes of GDDR5 and a 75 watt TDP for a whopping 30 bucks more. So 109 and 139. Now, obviously, the 3050 has more VRAM. VRAM costs money. VRAM doesn't cost that much money. I mean, the fact that they were back then able to go from 2 to 4 for 30 bucks and give more core, I mean, it, exactly. it, it's not that big a deal. It's nice. I frankly think the 4 gigs on this is stupid, but... That's neither here nor there. How many of you have a Visa card that pays you up to 8% on every purchase? Crypto.com offers an amazing deal on their Visa card with cash back that is an unbeatable deal. No annual fee, no sign-up fee, and no credit checks or interest payments. It works just like a prepaid debit card, allowing you to spend your money everywhere Visa is accepted. But wait, there's more. Get your Spotify, Netflix, and Amazon Prime subscriptions 100% paid for by Crypto.com. Yes, you heard me right. Use your new Crypto.com Visa card to pay for your subscriptions and you get 100% back in rewards. 
How would you like to earn up to 14.5% annual interest on your crypto holdings? If you're holding crypto for investment, inflation protection, or price speculation, it can be frustrating feeling like your money is just parked. Interest is paid weekly directly to your account to spend however you like. The interest is also paid in the same token that you're holding. So if you have Bitcoin staked, you are in Bitcoin. If you have Ethereum staked, you are in Ethereum and so on. Of course, you can also buy, sell, and exchange 200 plus different cryptocurrencies. Crypto.com is first and foremost a crypto exchange. Its features including a private wallet with full control of your private keys, margin and derivatives trading options for advanced traders, crypto credit allows you to borrow against your holdings with no deadlines or credit checks, crypto NFTs allows you to explore the new world of non-fungible tokens, crypto pay allows you to pay any merchant with crypto and earn up to 10% back in rewards. If you are looking for the place to be in crypto, use our link down in the video description below to sign up today. You will get a $25 crypto sign up bonus and 30 days of 0% transaction fees on credit and debit card purchases of crypto. It supports the channel and gets you a great offer to get started.